Hi, I'm Matty, the network scientist. I'm important because data on networks is everywhere. Just think about the web, technical infrastructures or social networks. Graphs or networks are the best way to model such systems. I'm a data science superhero. Hi Natty. Sure, network models are great to analyze relational data. But what if we have more than just relations? Think about user click path in the web or timestamped social interactions on Facebook. Such time series data not only tell us who's related to whom, but also when and in which order relations occurred. No problem. I can still use network methods. I simply count user interactions to get a time aggregated weighted social network. Now I can use social network analysis to see who's the most important user and who's a total loser. Not so fast. You just discarded the timing and ordering of interactions. Consider these two interaction sequences between Alice, Bob and Carol. For you, both are the same social network, but due to the order of interactions, in the left example, no path in time connects Alice via Bob to Carol. Netty, you forget that the order of interactions influences path in temporal networks. Hmm. So path in time series data may be different from what we expect from a network model. Does that mean that network analysis of time series data is misleading? Yes. And this happens because of temporal correlations in real data. So, if you are the superhero of data science, then temporal correlations are your kryptonite. If you are the Achilles of data mining, then time is your heel. If you are... Okay, okay, I get your point. Tell me what I can do about it. When is network analysis justified and when is a network a network? Great question. We can answer it using graph theory, statistics and a bit of philosophy. The idea is that you, Netty, have used the first order network model for time series data, which captures the topology and frequency of relations, but ignores the timing or ordering. We can avoid this by using multiple layers of higher order graphical models, a simple abstraction that incorporates temporal correlations. This helps us to better explain path in time series data. Wait a minute, that's trivial. The more complex model clearly explains the data better. You're right. That's why we need model selection and a bit of philosophy. The idea goes back to William of Ockham, who argued that we should favor models that make the fewest assumptions. This is called Ockham's razor, and we can incorporate it by using statistical tests that account for the complexity of our model. This helps us to decide how many layers of higher order graphical models we need to explain our data. If a first order model, the one you suggested is enough, then network analysis is justified. The need for higher order model layers signifies temporal correlations that question standard network analysis. I see. This is great. So you answer whether a network is a network. Even better, with your method, I can learn optimal network models to analyze time series data. I just need to apply network analysis techniques to your higher order graphical models. Yes, that's what I show in this paper. And thanks to the open source Python implementation PathPy, it is easy to analyze your data on pathways and temporal networks. So, I knew it all along. Network analysis rules. Time series data, here I come. Netty is coming to the rescue. I am the superhero of data science. Hmm.